We have discussed that in communion, one of the wonderful things that happens is that we form a great relationship. And the relationship is with our Father God, who comes to us all the time with emotional gifts, spiritual gifts, trying to catch our attention. I, as we talked about relationships growing, we also discussed that relationships often bring revelation. So I thought I would be transparent enough to tell you tonight about a revelation I had. I had been in praise and worship, just talking to God. Sometimes when I'm in praise and worship, I sing the old rugged cross. Sometimes I sing Lauren Daigle songs. Sometimes I just sing in tongues because I, I just want to feel liberated to praise and worship in any way that feels right in the moment. So after about 30 minutes or so, I just I t- a vision in my eyes, in my mind, you know, the, the vision began to go really dark. My, my eyesight began to go really dark. And then, like I had a camera in my hand, that camera began to zoom forward a little. And I could see, it was dark, but I could see the three crosses. I could see Calvary. I could see people walking around. And I could see those crosses. And I got a little nervous, got a little weird. And then the camera just kept closing in, getting closer and closer to the middle cross, to the face. So I tried my best to look at Jesus and his face. However, his face was so bruised that, and and I could see the crown of thorns on his head. I could see blood dripping down or like across one uh, you know, across his face, and and it was so, his face was so swollen, I couldn't tell what was a, a nose or a mouth. It, everything was just swollen and black and blue. And I, I, I finally had the courage to look closer and to look right into the eyes of Jesus. And when I looked into his eyes, I could see that he could see me. We, it's like we made eye contact. But then I realized that he was seeing into the future and that he was seeing me from the cross. And on that cross, he could see into the future. He could see every sin that I had ever committed. Or worse, he could still see the ones I would commit in my future. And and then the revelation became larger in that I understood that he made a conscious decision to stay on that cross for me and for my sins. No matter how huge or how petty, he saw them all and he chose to stay there. And then I realized he could see everyone in the future. As his eyes moved around, I could see he saw people all over the world, their presence and tomorrow, and what he could do for them. And he stayed right there, suffering on that cross, so that we could understand salvation, so that we could understand being cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ. It cleanses our bodies of all sin yesterday, today, and tomorrow. He's given us healing by all of those, by all of the things his body went through, all of the processes, all of the beatings, all of the mocking, all of those things gave our body healing. All of the, all of that horrible torment he went through was for us. And he could see you and me today. He could see us watching YouTube. He could see us making decisions. And those decisions are changed by what I saw in that vision years ago. It's been years now. I was living in Roswell, New Mexico. I was in my little office 
on Main Street where I counseled as a life coach. And across the street, I had a beautiful view of, of our big courthouse. It's really pretty. And I was, I was overwhelmed with the fact that he stayed on that cross for you and for me and for our children. He could see us and he stayed. So now we're going to take the communion. We're going to understand why we're taking the communion tonight. We're taking this bread because it stands for, it represents the body of Christ. And remember the body of Christ went through all that turmoil, all those things, on all those being whipped with a cat of nine tails so that our bodies could be healed. So tonight, as we take this bite of bread, we are going to remember that we can be healed. As one of my sisters beautifully says, I'm walking into my healing. So we are going to take a bite of this bread. We're going to take a deep breath and we're going to realize what Jesus did for us on the cross was accept all those horrible things to his body so that he could set us free. Now, we are going to take our glass. We are going to drink this liquid, remembering the blood of Christ, that his blood, his sinless blood, purified our bodies. It redeemed our bodies. The word redeem is huge. If we understand the depth of the power of the word redeem, we were taken from nothing and turned into sons and daughters of the Most High King. We have been redeemed. Now, I want to remind you that we can ask for a relationship with the Father God and the Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. We can ask the Lord Jesus to give us more and more revelations. I am, I'm personally asking Jesus to give me another chance and to let me see Him again. I want to see Jesus again, so I'm asking for it. You can ask for that. I'm also asking for a deeper walk with the Father God. I'm asking for that fire of, of depth that, the, that Jesus could cause us to have because we can. And so why would we miss it? Why would we just keep standing in muck and mire when we can have all of it? I thank you so much for taking the time to come here tonight, be part with me. I know that you had to wait as I re-remembered how to change cameras <laughs> and all the little techie stuff I was supposed to remember. I would like to blame it on Satan and say that he kept me, it was trying to keep me from doing this um, program. <laughs> but sometimes I think we give Satan too much credit. I think it was just me that I simply forgot how to change and what I was supposed to do. But I didn't give up. And that's what I'm asking you to do. Just don't give up. The Lord Jesus Christ has His hand on us. He loves us and He has a destiny for us. I'll be here tomorrow night. And I'm pretty sure this time I'll remember. <laughs> so I'll be here on time, not, not messing around in the background with wrong cameras. And I will be here for the next, um, I think it's 35 nights, I'll be here. If you have the chance, come, come and have communion with us. If not, no condemnation. This is all about being loved by the Father God, being accepted by the Father God, because of what His Son did on the cross for us. See you soon. <laughs>